Welcome to In It to Win It. This is Steve Barden. Thank you for tuning in. I am here with Glenn Jessen of Silver Tiger Metals. Glenn, thank you for coming on the well, show. Well, Steve, thanks for the invite. We really appreciate being here. Yes, yes. Uh, go ahead and give us a quick uh, 90 seconds on your, uh, on your project. Look, you know, we have a silver project in Mexico. We're at Halifax. Uh, I'm a securities lawyer by training. We've built a lot of public companies uh, for our group. Um, it's always about track record. Uh, we've built uh, four mines in Mexico. Uh, we've sold three of them to majors, and uh, this is just the next next project. Let's develop it towards building a mine. That's what we do. Now, your previous projects, uh, they were in pretty close to the same region, correct? You know, we've, we've, we've had projects in Chihuahua, Durango. This one's in Sonora. Uh, farthest north state, uh, a real mining state. We're surrounded by some of the biggest copper mines and precious metals mines on the planet. Yeah. Um, what's your current uh, market cap? And we're, about, we're about 140, 20 million dollars in the bank. Okay. Raised about 70 million in the last 28 months uh, to further the project. All institutional. Okay. I mean, uh, that was Franklin Templeton, uh, Sprout Asset Management, Merck, uh, McKenzie, uh, Van Eck. Uh, you can go on the website and look. We're, we're just totally institutional. These are the supposedly and, and they are the smartest precious metals investors on the planet. Yes. So they've supported us very well. And about what percentage of uh, 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 do they own of your... Oh, they would own a very good, like, I mean, you can go look at the numbers, but uh, uh, some of those, them own just shy of 9.9%. So big, big shareholdings okay. for all of those people. Okay. Yeah. And so you got about 20 mil in the bank. Yep. What do you plan on doing with that cash? Well, I mean, you just got to go look at our website or our press releases. We've been, we've uh, delivered an open pit um, uh, resource uh, first, uh, stock work at surface. We've been drilling unlimited uh, precious, you know, uh, epithermal silver veins, one, two, three, four, five, up to 85 kilos silver, high, high grade. Uh, we discovered last year a big wide shale zone where we're getting wide zones of 10, 15, 20 meters of more than a kilo. But really this Wednesday, what people should focus in on was, uh, I put a press release out Wednesday past, go look at it. We've discovered a big sulfide zone uh, down under the old El Tigre mine. And it's already 160 meters uh, by maybe 35, 40 meters. And that's, that's multi-kilo ore. You, you got, that is a very material discovery. For, for Silver Tiger and for Mexico. So I, I, I urge your people, go look at that. It's, it's fresh out and uh, I uh, expect a lot more drill results on that new area. That might be a good segue. So what would you say the biggest um, unanswered question is on your mind right now? Well, there's always unanswered questions. That's the on, whole point of drilling. On, on the project, <laughs> but I'm just gonna tell you, we only do one thing. We don't drill holes to uh, raise money. We don't drill holes to move our stock price. The moment we acquired this, everything we do is a step to build a mine. And we've yeah. done that serially with all of our projects over 27 years in Mexico. So unanswered questions are how fast can we get this in production? We don't know that yet, but that's what we're working towards. Now this is an old uh, mine site. Yes, it's been mined before. Yes. Are, is there any equipment on site that you can use, or are you going to have to? Is it no, too no, no, no. There, we that equipment. 1908, 1929, when everybody went home with the Great Depression, that equipment would be too old. Yeah. So we're not going to use it. All oh, the old mine rooms are there. It's a big mine. Pro produced a hundred. Think about it. Twenty-two years. Hundred million silver equivalent ounces. At an average grade of two and a half kilos. This is all documented. Two and a half kilos, silver equivalent. Cut off grade 1.2 kilos, if it wasn't hot, that high, think about it, they didn't mine it, in a 100 ton per day mill for the first 10 years, and a 220 ton per day mill in the second 10 years. That's what Tiger El Tigre is. High, high grade, low volume. It will be a very profitable mine when we get there. Yeah, yeah. And what, um how is the geology uh, similar, or is this different to the, the previous projects that you guys have had? Oh, this is just an epithermal system. Uh, high, and, you, and you can look on my website, there's a beautiful slide that shows the four types of mineralization. We always encounter, number one, epithermal veins. We always usually have a stock work at surface, which is the open pit potential. Uh, but really what this one's done is the last two discoveries, over the brand new one, the fourth one we've discovered, type of mineralization was this sulfide zone. Pay attention. 
just pay attention. That's all I'm telling your viewers. There'll be more results coming. And then, of course, we also found a, a wide, high-grade sulfide zone um, close to surface. So a lot of types of mineralization. Uh, we expected a lot of it. We've had some very nice surprises, especially with this new discovery on Wednesday. How deep is that new discovery? Uh, it's about 350 meters. Okay, just yeah, past 300. Yeah, yeah, okay. not, not very deep at all. The old-timers mine well past almost to 500 meters on the uh, other end of the mine. Okay, awesome. Right on. Well, Great. Glenn, thank you for coming well, on the show. It was a pleasure show. to uh, share a little bit about Tiger with you. So yes, thank you very yes. much. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe, and we will talk to you next time.